Welcome for a physics lesson. I want us to go through equilibrium center of gravity. So what we call equilibrium is a state of balance of all the forces acting on a body. And actually we usually say that uh, for a system in equilibrium, the law of labor, which is also called the principle of moments, sum of clockwise moments should equal the sum of anti-clockwise moments at the same point for a system which is in equilibrium. Again, we should know that for a system which is in equilibrium, downward forces should equal to upward forces. Upward must balance the forces acting downwards for a system to remain in equilibrium. Therefore, a state of equilibrium is simply a state of balance and it is mostly governed by what we call the sum equals to the sum of anticlockwise moments at the same point which we call the law of labor also called the principle of moments the principle of moments therefore now with equilibrium uh, comes in what you call center of gravity the center of gravity mostly abbreviated c o g the c o g o g the center of gravity and this is the point of application the point of application of the resultant force of the resultant force due to the resultant force due to gravitational pull as long as all bodies are being pulled towards the center of the earth the resultant force in that pulling of bodies towards the center of the earth uh, there is a point where that resulting force is applied or that resulting force is acting through in the body and that point is what we call the center of gravity of the body so we can just note for a uniform objects the center of gravity is its, its geometrical center its geometrical center for example if we got a rod like this and you are told it is 80 centimeters if it is 80 centimeters long the weight of this body, due to the pull of gravity, will act through its center. The weight of this body acts through 40 centimeter mark. The 40 centimeter mark. Therefore, for any uniform object, the position of its center of gravity is its geometrical center. The geometrical center. If we have a rectangular plot like this, the geometrical center will be when we construct the diagonals and where they intersect, that will be the center of gravity. The center of gravity, which is rectangular. Therefore, all regular objects have the center of gravity as their geometrical center. Therefore, using this concept of the geometrical center being the COG of any regular object, we can check a few equations combining center of gravity and what we call the turning effect of a force or the principle of moments. Therefore, we can take a few examples down so that people may understand what we mean by COG and moments. A uniformity rule is balanced at example. uniform 
metabol. And at 20 centimeter mark, 20 centimeter mark, when a force of 1.2 newtons is armed at the 0 centimeter mark. Zero centimeter mark. At the zero centimeter mark, calculate the weight of the metal. Calculate the weight of the metal. Calculate the weight of the metal. In a question like this, whereby we are taught a uniform meter rule is balanced at the 20 centimeter mark when 1.2 is armed at 0 centimeter mark. Then you try to calculate the weight of the meter rule. It is very important to sketch this meter rule. So we are saying a meter rule. A meter rule is balanced at the 20 centimeter mark. So this is where a pivot is placed the 20 centimeter mark so a pivot is placed there then we are told at 0 centimeter mark at 0 centimeter mark we have 1.2 newtons acting here then we have to calculate the weight of this meter rule as we have mentioned because this is a uniform meter rule then its own weight is acting through the center own weight, which we don't know, is acting through the 50th centimeter mark. Now, considering moments about the turning point, then we can consider clockwise moments, which are due to the weight, and anti-clockwise moments, which are due to the 1.2 Newton force. Therefore, we can say the anti-clockwise moments, which is from the 20 centimeter mark up to the center, is 30. So 30 centimeters times a known weight should give us 1.2 times a distance of 20. 1.2 times a distance of 20. Therefore, a weight, a weight of times 30 or times 20, then we divide by 30. 0.8 newtons. A weight of 0.8 newtons belongs to this meter. A weight of 0.8 newtons belongs to this meter. So we can check. given an example of this nature
meter rule. The normal reaction at the meter rule. So we can now go through this question, which tells us that a meter rule is balanced at 20 degrees centimeter mark with 3.6 kilograms hanging at the 3 centimeter mark. Then we are trying to determine the weight of the meter rule and the normal reaction at the meter rule. Normal reaction at the meter rule. So we've got 23 centimeter mark here. Then we've got the meter rule pivoted there. Then we are told that the 3 centimeter mark, 3 centimeter mark, we've got 3.6 newtons, 3.6 kilograms. Because we want force, which is weight, this can be given by mass times gravity. So 3.6 times 10 gives us 36 newtons as the weight acting here. So instead of 3.6 kilograms, we can use 36 newtons acting downwards. And the known weight is acting downwards. The known weight is acting downwards. Because the meter rule is uniform, then the weight of the meter rule acts through it. This is the 50 centimeter mark. At the 50 centimeter mark. Yeah, for now we can work with now we can work with weight which is unknown trying to repeat the moments due to the clockwise moments which is weight times the distance from the point of support which is from 23 up to 50 23 up to 50 that is 27 should be equal to from the point of support 23 up to 3 centimeters where that 6 is acting so we can have 36 times 20. 36 times 20. Therefore, the weight will be 36 by 20 divided by 27. And this will give us 26.67 newtons. Therefore, the weight of this meter rule is 26.67 newtons. Now, if we have 26, 0.67 newtons acting downwards here. Now we can get the normal reaction on, on the meter rule here. There is a reaction here now at the meter rule. Because the meter rule is laying here, then we will have a reaction acting upwards there. So for this meter rule to be at equilibrium, because we have told it is balanced, if it is at equilibrium. Therefore, we had mentioned that downward forces must equal to upward forces. So the force acting down seven, then we have a normal reaction due to those forces which are acting downwards. There must be a reaction upwards so that the forces might balance. Therefore, we can say the sum of downward forces. Sum of downward forces must be equal to the sum of upward forces. Therefore, 36.0 plus 26.67 should give us the upward forces, which is the normal reaction at the point of support. Therefore, the normal reaction will have 62.67 newtons. 62.67 newtons. Therefore, the force which is acting upwards is 62.67 because downward forces, according to the state of equilibrium, downward forces must equal the upward forces. So, thank you very much for following the lesson. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link. Thank you.